Good afternoon. I'm Earl Hall with Blue Water Yacht Sales. We're here at the uh, 2021 Big Rock on the new Viking 80 demo. This is uh, this has been a lot of years that we've we've been fishing the Big Rock tournament. Viking and Blue Water came here together in 1985 when the queen of our fleet was 48 feet, and it's a it's a work week for us. We're here to fish and we're here to compete and to have fun, but but it's a work week in that. Each of our tournament events is part of an ongoing development process of, that involves the engineering department, and involves the demo crew, involves the anglers on the demo, and the whole goal of this is to build a better boat every day to present to our customers. So we started fishing this tournament, like I said, in 85. Um, we had a pretty good release turnout that year. We did not catch a big fish. Um, but but I think we may have placed in the release division that didn't have much merit back then. It was uh, sort of a second thought. We were fortunate enough, and we fished it most every year since 85, and, and as I said, we, we started with a 48, and our boats keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So in 2015, we brought a new 62 Viking here. It had been out of the plant for two days. It came here uh, fresh off the production line. We fished opening day, and at 9.17 on Monday, we were very blessed. We hooked the fish that ended up winning. And so that was a 680-pound fish. It was a nervous week when you go on the leaderboard by lunchtime on, on Monday, and then you got to ride out that long wait to make sure that you don't get bumped. So that was a, that was quite a nervous time. But as I said, we use this as a, as a uh, engineering evolution, and we learn every day from from our time on the demo boats to our customers' time on their boats, and we, we go back and we put all this information together, and it helps the guys at Viking work at building a better boat. Um, I'm with Blue Water Yachts. I've been, um, I'm a partner in Blue Water, and we've been in business since uh, 1968. We've represented the Viking Yacht Company for about 35 plus years. It's a, uh, it's a great marriage. Uh, the Healy family, and my family have been doing this together for a long time, and we, we take great pride in opportunities like being here at the Big Rock to uh, showcase our product. And here in a little bit, we're going to do a walkthrough of this, uh, this model, which is the new 80. Um, <clears throat> we still do build to 92 feet in the sport fish uh, market, but this is, uh, this is the 2021 demo boat. So we're, we're proud to showcase it and show it to you. So we're back on the Viking 80 demo, and we were talking earlier about how these tournaments are fun for us, but they're also work for us, and that it's part of the engineering program of the Viking Yacht Company. But it, even to continue that, every part of this boat that's manufactured by other vendors, such as this Release Marine Fighting Chair or the M2 engines that propel the boat, the folks that build and design and, and sell this product to Viking are here to support it. They're here to support their customers. They have technical people on staff. And so uh, it's, it's, it's more than just a boat. It's a group effort with all the parts that make it function. We're going to do a walkthrough here in a minute, and we're going to go through the, the cabin of the boat, look at the appointments, and then we'll do the engine room and, uh, and flybridge. But we were talking earlier, and it's interesting to watch the growth of the Big Rock in that when we won it in 2015, uh, setting the fabulous fisherman category aside, First place was $560,000. Today, setting fabulous fishermen aside, first place is about $2.2 million. So it's just incredible to see what's happened in six short years with the growth of the Big Rock. It's really cool to be a part of it. So as we get ready to go into the uh, salon, one interesting, neat little feature of the Viking 80 is the electric door. So that when we're fishing and, the, and it's rough and the boat's rocking back and forth, the door is controlled by a mechanical mechanism, and there's no chance that it's going to slide and hurt somebody's fingers. So we're going to go on inside. Now we're inside. We touch the button. The door shuts again. Each Viking yacht starts with a build sheet. And before a boat hull is ever built, the wood aspects and the interior furniture are, manu are started to be manufactured. Um, there's a team of people that goes to the veneer company and, and hand selects each panel for each boat. So there will be um, a K 
kit of veneers so that all the wood throughout each boat matches as close as can be done with, a, with, with tree grain. This boat is a high gloss finish, which we haven't done in a number of years, but we think it's time to modernize the look a little bit. You'll see some interesting joiner work in here, such as this is a day head, which means that you can come in from the cockpit, have a place to use the head without having to walk through the boat with wet feet. But if you notice the, uh, the construction of the door, we're just always trying to do something interesting and different so that we just don't build the same old boat every day. Interesting aspect of the newer boats is that uh, we no longer have big panels of circuit breakers. We have essentially a small computer program here that allows us to run Cat 5 and Cat 9 wires throughout the boat instead of having literally thousands of pounds of wire. This makes it much lighter. Lighter means faster. There's a, a huge initiative today to take weight out of boats. So the lighter the boat, the better the power can push it through the water, and it's all about performance. People want, they, they want a fast boat today. Um, no one will buy an 80-foot boat that doesn't run 40 knots. To make them run 40 knots, you have to take the weight out of them. And so uh, with cord materials starting from the hull, to the house, there's uh, there's foam coring, there's ingrain balsa coring. Uh, the boat is infused with e glass and uh, a lot of carbon fiber in the superstructure of the boat and the flybridge parts. Again, all to take weight out of the boat. So as you pan around, you'll see the 80 has a very, very big, comfortable salon. The uh, the decorating company that does each and every Viking yacht, William Bales and Company, does a fantastic job. This boat's got some interesting features where the, the couch is a contrasting color. Most couches are just one color, and we're just always playing with new ideas to make something look exciting. This galley layout that's an island allows for good flow through the salon here, where whoever's doing work at the galley has plenty of space, and they're kind of out of the way. The dinette area over here is, uh, is raised about 10 inches off the floor and hosts underneath of it a drawer that pulls out and we can store a, a host of big reels in there like up to 50s um, which helps have a place to keep everything neat and organized. So going forward we have uh, some pantries and we have an electronics room and we have uh, this is sort of a media area but we also have rod storage in here, but you'll see a lot of the electronic controls for AV equipment is in this room. All air conditioning, because everything likes to run cool. Over here, this is sort of a, we call this 5.5. And what I mean by that jokingly, this is a five stateroom boat, but there's adequate space in here. So when we're carrying an extra mate, there's a bunk in here that uh, allows them to have a place to have a little privacy. Now we'll go below. We'll save the best for last. Washer dryer to, uh, you know, when you're traveling this tournament circuit, obviously it's easier to do your laundry on the boat than it is to find one in town somewhere. So we've got a full size washer dryer combination here. So as I mentioned, this is a five stateroom boat. We'll do the master last. I always like to save the best for last. But each of the staterooms, um, some have upper lowers, some have kings, some have queens, but they all have in-suite heads so that every stateroom has its own head and shower. Very interesting decor. Pocket door, which slides back and forth to allow for uh, space efficiency in some of the staterooms. This is a guest stateroom with a queen and attached in suite head and shower. Pretty snazzy decor. We'll continue forward. Um, linen cabinet. Got to have a lot of space for five staterooms. 
another bunk room with head and shower and another VIP guest queen with its complete head and shower. So we'll go aft through the companionway into the master. What's here is what we call a full beam master. It sits underneath the galley and dinette floor. It goes from porthole side to starboard hole side. Spacious hanging lockers. A makeup table. Here, I'll show you the uh, hanging lockers that are his and hers on each side. Plenty of space complete with a blue water t-shirt. Now this is a head. Much like you find in a private home. Next we're off to the engine room and then flybridge. So we've been through the interior, we've seen the 216 square foot cockpit, the mezzanine seating. Let's take a look at the engine room and then we'll do the flybridge where it all happens. So we're going to open the door and go below. One of the neat features about fishing the Viking 80 is that as an angler, you, you hear no engine sound in the cockpit whatsoever. You hear wash from the propellers, but you don't hear any engine noise, any generator noise, and it's really the result of this vestibule type area with a soundproof and waterproof door. And so as soon as I open the door, you'll hear some machinery running, but what this does is it makes the cockpit really quiet for the anglers all day long. Now this is really where the engineering coming out of New Gretna shows. This is an operating room clean engine room setup and it will stay this way because it's, it's engineered to have things serviceable yet neat and clean. Um, a pair of MTU um, M96s at 2630 horse, 35 horsepower a piece so we're talking about 5260 horsepower in this boat. In the middle here you'll see part of the sonar system which is a side scanning sonar it has a transducer that protrudes through the bottom of the boat and then it looks 360 degrees around in the water under the boat which gives the uh, the captain a heads up on where he might go to look for fish it's a pretty cool idea a pair of 29 kw generators either one of them will run the whole boat by itself But I think you'll agree, this is, uh, this is operating room sanitary. So we, we briefly touched on the octoplex system and how it switches everything on the boat on and off. And there's three octoplex locations throughout the boat, uh, salon, flybridge, engine room. And, and what that does is that through computer wiring, like a Cat5 or a Cat9, it, it sends the signal to sub-panels in, in vital areas of the boat. Previously, in older engineering, we would have a, a, a two-conductor piece of wire that went from every breaker on the panel throughout the whole boat to wherever it went. And we were able to eliminate all that wiring with the advent of the octoplex system, which uh, depending on the size of the boat, governs the amount of weight that it took out of the boat. So we've never built the 80 anyway but with Aquaplex. But previously, when we switched from the conventional method to the Aquaplex system in some of our models, we saved as much as 2,400 pounds of weight. So here we are at the command center of the Viking 80. Um, we're on the flybridge. This is the raised helm station for the operator. Gives him great view of the bow for docking and great view of the cockpit for fishing. So, sorry we have the uh, shade up which kind of hides the cockpit but you get the idea of how you can see all four corners of the boat. 
So overhead here are our electric teaser reels that we use to pull teasers from the bridge that the captain can control. We pull the dredges from the cockpit. And the captain spends so much time facing aft on this boat while fishing that we actually have one of the monitors up here aft facing so that he doesn't have to keep turning around back and forth. This boat is equipped with side scan sonar, so there's a lot going on here in the bridge. So four big monitors, the MTU controls, the radar control, the sounder control. But we've been we've been spoiled, frankly, in the last several years. It's it's not uncommon for us to find ourselves with 18 people on one of these boats on a day on a fish day. And you don't really feel like you're crowded because you can, you can have 10 people scattered about on this bridge and not be the least bit cramped. All kinds of amenities made into the boat. This is flybridge air conditioning. We have rod storage under the seats. These boats do a lot of traveling these days, so food storage and refrigeration is very important for us. In this case, right now this is all bait because we're just starting tournament season. Chill boxes where the drinks are cold, both sides. Big comfortable lounge seating with more refrigeration. You know the one thing that is uh, really cool this week about fishing Big Rock on this boat and this is really a testament to why Viking is what it is today are their people and so this crowd is dedicated to perfecting this craft but it's pretty neat fishing this week on this boat there's four generations of Viking demo captains that started in 1985 with Drew McDowell uh, Drew's on the boat with us this week then Don Gamel who was a uh, was after Drew, once Drew came ashore and took over Palm Beach Towers. Don's with us. Uh, Ryan Higgins, who um, those in the sport fish scene today all know Ryan Higgins. Ryan was the face of Viking on the demo boat for a decade, and now he's taken the position of Southeast Sales Manager. And Sean Dooley, the present captain, it's, uh, just this is his first tournament. But it's an honor to fish with guys like that that have been doing this so long, and that's that's the key element to the Viking Yacht Company is that Pat Healy surrounds this company with great people. And then our, our manufacturer partner, Sam Peters from Belize Marine, is on here fishing with us this week. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to be the Blue Water representative and to be able to fish with these guys. It's what makes Viking tick.